Election day is quickly approaching. And whenever it does, my mind travels back to our Declaration of Independence, where all are guaranteed the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In today's political world, life and liberty seem to be threatened. And as Catholics, we need to exercise our right to vote to make sure that our freedoms and our rights are protected. Voting is not only an act of faithful citizenship, it's an act of a disciple of the Lord who wishes the foundational principles of our church and our community to be honored. All issues that affect our life are important to us. But not all issues have equal moral rate. We want, first of all, to protect life in all its forms, from the first moment of conception until the moment of natural death. And anything that takes away from that right is intrinsically evil. Abortion, euthanasia, cloning, embryonic stem cell research. These are issues that should be important to us and we should know the church's teaching in their regard. But there are other issues as well. Torture, racism, targeting non-combatants in the war on terror, protecting and defending the rights of all needs to be the focus of our attention. I hope that as you prepare to cast your ballot on this election day, you will remember that life is our first right and freedom of religion is the first freedom guaranteed in the Bill of Rights. As Catholics, we have a lifelong obligation to form our consciences, keeping our minds open and receptive to the teachings of the Church. I know that all of you who are listening to my voice today are anxious to do the right thing. I encourage you to pray, to study, and to make decisions that are in accordance with our moral principles and the foundational principles of our country. And we pray that God who has given you the light of a clear conscience will enable you to see through the many difficulties that exist and bring you ever closer to knowing and understanding and appreciating God's plan for you, God's plan for us. God bless you and your families. Be assured of my prayers, not only now as Election Day approaches, but in all the days and months and years ahead.